The next method of manipulation is controlled opposition. So this is the illusion of two opposing forces fighting each other when in fact they're actually the same force. It's, it's a flip side of the same coin. Gr best example of this is Democrat versus Republican. There is no difference between the two. There is only really one political party doing the agenda of the manipulators behind the scenes, the, the international banking dynasties and the, uh, uh, the occultic controllers that call the shots. Um, uh, this is a great political cartoon here. The two-party illusion is the first aspect of this controlled opposition. Again, no difference between Republican and Democrat. There are two wings of the same bird. Vote all you want. The flight plan does not change. The, the body, they're both connected to the same body and they're flying to the same place. And if you need any clearer example of this, look to the 2004 election uh, scam, the election fraud between uh, John Kerry and George Bush, because they're both members of the elite order of the skull and bones. Yale uh, fraternal order based on a dark sect of Freemasonry, what I would call a rogue, a rogue um, lodge, and it is the order of death. It is that which worships the force that brings chaos, because they are the chaos magicians, they are the chaos sorcerers, they are bred to be these left brain dominant controllers and manipulators that use occultic ideologies against people to manipulate them. And um, the, these two men uh, are both orders of uh, members of the same fraternal brotherhood of Yale University, the Skull and Bones. A bit about the symbology of the skull and the bones. The skull is where thought takes place. The bones, the crossbones, are what we use to perform action. But you'll notice that there is a lost mode of consciousness here. There is thought and action, but no emotion. The sacred feminine is removed from the equation because the sorcerers of consciousness are those who use their intelligence and their will to act, but have no emotion. So they are the skull and the bones. They don't care about the, the, uh, the consequences of their actions in the external world and what their actions do to others. They're only using their egoic will, the bones, and their cleverness, the left brain consciousness, the left brain aspect of human thought with, with no connection to the wisdom or the uh, nurturing or the intuition of the right brain to do whatever they want to do, to do their egoic will. The second, the flip side of this um, uh, controlled opposition is the New Age movement. And this may somewhat upset some people who are into New Age ideologies. I don't think all New Age movement ideologies are bad or negative or shouldn't be looked into. I certainly think they should be looked into. I think uh, meditating in the proper context is a great um, form of experiencing pure awareness. However, I think that the New Age movement is largely co-opted and it is being used as something to get people never to look at the negative. To say, don't look at that, that's negative. You're being negative by saying that people are being manipulated. Uh, speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil. And that, isn't, that ideology isn't going to get you anywhere. That's not going to get you closer to the understanding of why things are the way they are. That's an, a, an ostrich with his head in the sand syndrome, as far as I'm concerned. So the New Age movement can imbalance people toward the right brain if they're not careful, and they keep going into these ideologies that says there's no such thing as anything negative. Don't, don't look into any of the negative. It really isn't going to get us anywhere in understanding why things are the way that they are and how they got that way. We need to confront the negative, not be totally absorbed by it or to um, completely uh, get lost in it, but we need to look into it, confront it, confront the dark uh, recesses of the psyche and the origins of the, the uh, human ego and the human um, uh, attachment to the physical world to understand why uh, evil has come into uh, manifestation to the extent that it has in our world. 
If we're really going to solve these problems, we have to go into those levels of the deep, dark recesses of the subconscious and confront uh, the shadow there where it lives if we're going to uh, come out of it and be reborn in uh, wisdom and understanding. So that is controlled opposition. The next